Hey, what's going on, guys? Don't you uh, come on in. Come on, don't be a stranger. Come on. All right. So, um, today I figure I would show you guys around the office a bit. I said about a new updated studio tour a couple videos ago, probably like four videos ago, and, um, well, haven't really gotten around to it yet. Oh, this is Caden, by the way, in case you guys haven't seen any of my other videos. He is now nine months old. Um, Bailey is off on a boat ride. So, I figure, while I got the time, why don't we take the full tour? So, over here, we have the main setup where I do all of the work, my editing, my photo editing, um, set one, if you will. Now, we are on, um, well, not we, we're not standing on this, but all my equipment and stuff is on two DIY desks that I recently did. I did videos not explaining how to do it, but the after math, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So first we have my charging station right there where, you know, I charge my phone, my batteries for all kinds of different stuff, uh, my, my external monitor, my camera and stuff like that, as well as the Google Home and my printer and then over here the the beast if you will the mean machine um, we have my desk set up I have three ultra sharp Dell monitors uh, the two on the bottom are 25 inches the one on the top is a 24 inch I am still using the pre-Sonos speakers, they are great for sound, especially editing, and those are the ones mounted right up there. Um, inside the computer, you guys can see, I'll give you a better shot here, right there, yep. I'll film some B-roll and probably insert somewhere around here. We are rocking a... Um, Asus motherboard, the Z390E gaming motherboard with um, complete maxed out 64 gigs of RAM. That's all that the motherboard can take right there. And those are Trident Z. Whoa. So they have RGB, the Trident Z Royal to be exact. They're gold. They have RGB. I did a video on it. Check it out. Uh, the processor is the Intel Core i7 87K, which is overclocked to 4.9 gigahertz right now and is going pretty stable. I've had it overclocked that way pretty much since I got it. Um, as far as the graphics card, we have a GeForce RTX 2060 in there, which is also completely overclocked as far as it will go the whole computer is overclocked as far as it'll go uh, now for the peripherals over here on top right there there's the keyboard my move my hair there's the mouse like I said b-roll somewhere around here I have the Logitech G213 Great keyboard, I like the shortcuts you can program into them. The only thing that is the downside is it has a wire and I'm eventually gonna be upgrading to a wireless keyboard. Uh, as far as the mouse, which I think is a great editing mouse, great for um, Adobe Premiere editing. I think it's got 10 customizable keys on the mouse. I'm pretty sure it's 10. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Somebody probably will. The G602. Let 
here. G602, once again, great for editing, um, playing shortcuts. I barely have to touch my keyboard at all while I'm editing or photo editing. Now, that's pretty much it for the desk setup. Um, I just got some other knickknacks, uh, pictures of my kids, some lights, a nice little flower that I got from Target because I read a study that if green, it helps you be more creative. If there's green, a flower, whatever, you get the picture. Also, some more things to make this a little bit more inspiring for me is just, just to personalize things a bit are the things that I had hung around. I got my it poster over here, my signed Evil Dead uh, cover for the movie, signed by Bruce Campbell himself. I shook his hand. That was awesome. <laughs> Anyways, up top, well, I'm just some things on displays. Um, some of the boxes I have for the stuff in my computer. My drone over here, as well as my Samsung VR headset. And then over on this wall, let me move you guys over here. See, behind me. I have a useless motherboard, which I broke. And some other things on display. Also, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Season 1, also signed by Bruce Campbell. I'm a big Bruce Campbell fan. He's he's kind of the man. Anyways, I have on canvas um, a photo that I took of the Columbia Wrightsville Bridge. And then Bailey painted a nice little picture for my office too. Um, one thing I didn't talk about was the chair. You guys see the chair there? Yeah, you guys saw it. Um, it's a pretty comfy chair. Let me fix this camera here. Uh, definitely, I don't know. It reclines, it's got a uh, leg rest, which I don't ever really use. I don't do much, I don't do any gaming on my setup at all, really. So, the only thing I do is photo and video editing on that. But the chair's nice and comfy. I uh, picked it up from Amazon for like a hundred bucks. It's not one of the crazy, great, expensive ones that you're gonna drop three, four hundred dollars on, but it gets the job done and it looks nice. Goes well with my setup, I believe. Over here, we just have. All right, all right, calm down. What are you getting fuzzy for? What are you getting fuzzy for? We're doing a video, see? See? No. Okay. Uh, I just have a shelf for some other knickknacks. A uh, picture of my family. A nice whiteboard there for me to jot down ideas, a list, whatever I need to write down to remind me. And then I have two more lights. Up here is the newer light. It's a studio kit light. Not exactly sure of the model. Ah. <laughs> and over on this side these are also newer lights but they're bicolored lights you can change the temperature of the lights you can dim them and whatnot and they are controlled with a remote so I can dim them and turn them up change the temperature Temperature changing. Ugh. Back down to normal. Or, there we go. That works. Back down to normal. Like I said, also neural lights. 66. Six. Ah. 660. Bi color changing lights. If you're interested, look them up. And then I just got some things on display down here. Um, can't really see much, but I got my ninja, or not ninja, my Atomos Assassin external recorder monitor I sometimes use 
thought I would use it a lot more than I do, but I don't. And I have my flash down there as well. And uh, just some other things that I like on display. And turning around here, we have set two. Um, I've done a couple videos on this set. Probably gonna start using this some more. Uh, actually got me a little futon couch, which I really wanted in my office. I really wanted a couch in my office because I really wanted another set for me to do things on. Anyways, um, so I sit down there, whatever, um, shoot some videos, hang out, maybe put something on the computer and watch it. I've never done that before, but in case a guest comes over, they can do that. They can pull that out, sleep in my office. Um, beside the couch over here, over here, we have um, another... DIY end table as well as a DIY coffee table right there and basically just a chill spot in case I'm not editing in case I have some friends over or anything I got a chair they can sit on got a couch I can sit on and what a whatever we can do whatever in here um, back here we have um, some of my camera stuff that I don't really quite use anymore on display. We have the Canon 80D and then uh, some other lenses, the 10 to 18, 70 to 300, and 18 to 55 kit lens on display there. You okay? <sighs> Um, all right, over in this corner here, just some more, you know, things on display. I like, I like putting things on display. I don't know why it makes me feel more creative or whatever. I just like looking at my things. So I have some pictures of my family, uh, Ashley and me, uh, my 90D box on display, all the phones that I've had all Samsung Galaxy phones. It goes back to the uh, S7 as far as the boxes. I've had Galaxies since the S4 though. I just don't have all the boxes anymore. Um, and then just some controllers, storage, some other crap that I just need to store wherever. Kind of just goes there. Sometimes when Ashley wants things out of the way, out of the dining room or whatever, She'll just kind of put it in my office. Like, my office is just a storage room when it's not at all. But, um, oh yeah, one thing that I missed. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, all the RGB lights that you see behind the couch, underneath the couch, behind the desk monitors behind the setups are the Gove LED smart lights. Great lights. Um, I'm a big fan of them. I did a video on them. You can check that out. Um, it's somewhere in my videos list. Um, definitely a lot cheaper than the Philips Hue and it does the same thing. Honestly, I can turn them on and off with my Google. They usually always stay on though. But I think they come in at like 35 bucks. Meanwhile, the Philips Hue come in at like, I don't know, 80 or 90. So definitely saving some money there. And I recommend them over the Hue lights. They work with Google. It's great. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to uh, film that B-roll that I was talking about. I have to... Finish packing for the beach. God, there's so much stuff that needs done today. Anyways, if you like this video, if you like the little tour, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Ow. Ow. If you like seeing Caden, uh, 
give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more uh, tech reviews vlogs whatever if you want to see more of my videos Al what's up with you in here make sure to hit that subscribe button and I don't know until next time I'll catch you guys later peace